One year later and only a fraction of those charged with crimes for storming our nation's capital have actually been sentenced. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail tells us why the legal process is taking so long and what more we can expect. It's been called the largest and most complex investigation in the history of our Justice Department, not just for the number of people involved, but for the mountains of evidence, photos, and videos that were taken just outside the nation's capital on January 6th, 2021. It's just like you're standing there watching it yourself. Defense attorney Jerry Summers has practiced law for decades, but can't remember another crime so visible. The range of punishment are from misdemeanors all the way up to very, very serious felonies. There's More than 725 people were charged for what happened, and those are just the people who were caught. 17 were from Tennessee with the most serious charges involving the assault of law enforcement. All but four were released while they wait on trial, while three people pled guilty to charges that offered probation. Under the federal sentencing guidelines, every prior crime adds points up and as to what the severity, what kind of potential sentence you may have. But it still raised questions as to why the process is taking this long. I think most people underestimate the amount of work that's involved in all sides of this process. Former federal prosecutor Alex Little says part of the delay has to do with starting from the bottom and building to the top. Bottom, you gather information, you flip cooperators until eventually you get enough information and enough cooperating witnesses to go after the people at the top of the pyramid. That means anyone who helped plan or even instigate the riot could be charged with conspiracy, including, but not limited to, former President Donald Trump. And that's what's making this most difficult for prosecutors. About 165 people have already pled guilty, although some have criticized Attorney General Merrick Garland for not doing enough. Garland fired back saying that no one is off limits. The actions we have taken thus far will not be our last. As pressure builds and more serious charges pile on, both Summers and Little predict some will begin to accept plea agreements this year. Because on a day where hundreds were involved, no one wants to be the last person left. For News Channel 5 Investigates, I'm Levi Ismail.